Hi, this is Todd, and today is Wednesday, June 15, 2011, and we are in a grouping, or a hectare, of stinging nettle, Urtica dioica, which happens to be the larval host plant of several nymphalid butterflies, including the Red Admiral, Vanessa Atalanta, West Coast Lady, Vanessa Carey, Annabella, Satyricama, Polygonia satyrus, Milbus tortoiseshell, Nymphalis milberti, and even painted ladies have been known to use uh, this plant. Uh, as I have said before, um, many of these butterflies, some of these butterflies anyway, use other species of plant. You can uh, seriously hurt yourself by handling stinging that, although permanent damage, but it can be painful. So I would advise you, if you do look for caterpillars of any of those species on stinging nettle, uh, to wear rubber gloves. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about finding the caterpillars of the Red Admiral. I am along the Provo River Parkway, and so it is highly unlikely that I will be running into caterpillars of the Seder Kama. It may be possible to run into caterpillars of the Milbrus tortoiseshell, but those are usually gregarious, where females lay eggs in clumps. And uh, if I don't find tons of larvae, I should be able to uh, at least distinguish the Red Admiral from the Milbrus tortoiseshell or the Seder Kama. Over on this particular stalk of stinging nettle, if we focus in on these two leaves here, there is some feeding damage. Um, that's the cue you're looking for when looking for larvae. Uh, red admirals will lay their eggs on the tips um, of the leaves of new growth up towards the top of the stinging nettle. Uh, if you're looking for eggs, you may look really closely because they can be quite small. But if you're looking for larvae, the nests that the larvae construct are more obvious uh, as a kind of as a function of the size of the larva. So we'll go ahead and open up these nests and see what we find. Okay, I went ahead and opened up this nest and found nothing on it. It looks like the caterpillar that was here is vacated, so we'll check that other nest nearby to see if the caterpillar still might be there. The cue that you're looking for is you see that the, uh, the leaves are tied together, and then towards the tip of the leaf you can see actual larval feeding damage. As you can see, when I open up the nest, I have found a third instar red admiral caterpillar. Red admirals use several species of uh, weeds and plants around the United States. Um, I would not recommend, <clears throat> if you have other options outside of stinging nettle, such as false nettle, pellitory, and several other species, I would recommend, depending on where you live, uh, that you look for caterpillars on those plants. Here's another potential larval nest, and I've got my mackerel on, but I don't know if it's focusing in well on this part of the... Underneath my finger here is a leaf that's been chewed up. Um, you know, if I say, hey, when you want to look for Red Admiral or Milbus tortoiseshell caterpillars, look for leaves that are rolled up. Well, that's not really good advice here because a lot of these leaves on these plants are stressed for one reason or another, and they're rolled up. That's not normally what you find. I just uh, pulled off this one leaf um, that had a nest. Something tells me that the larva is not here because this particular nest right here is larger and it probably has the larva. But we'll go ahead and open this up and see what we find. Yeah, and I suspect that this particular nest is, is empty. The larva was here. He's vacated. So we'll now uh, investigate this one a little bit closer. But that nest also is empty. So we are now going with plan C. If I look closer at this plant, this particular uh, leaf is sealed, and there's some chew mark damage on it. So we will see if there's anybody home in this nest. Third time's a charm. I look towards the end of the nest where the chew mark damage was. And as you can see here, this also is a third instar. Uh, you're probably seeing mostly black, but on some of the, uh, on the spines on the larva, there is some yellow coloration. I'll take a better shot with my Canon Rebel here and insert that into this uh, presentation. Again, uh, this is uh, some cues to look for when you find a grouping of uh, stinging nettle growing along river or along the woods, uh, depending upon what part of the USA you're in. Um, if you find uh, Red Admiral caterpillars feeding on other plants, uh, like Pellitory around the U.S., or False Metal in Florida, and so forth, you'll probably will find similar uh, leaf shelters that the larvae will produce. Thanks.